Hi, I'm Richard White, an oncologist and cancer biologist at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. When people talk about cancer as a deadly disease, it is really metastasis they are talking about, the process by which cancer cells move from one part of the body to another. Metastasis is responsible for over 90% of cancer deaths, but our tools for combating widespread disease remain limited. Despite remarkable advances in understanding how cancers start, we still understand surprisingly little about what drives metastasis. Perhaps even more surprisingly, we fundamentally do not understand why metastatic cancer leads to sickness and death in most patients. My laboratory is interested in understanding this very basic but unanswered question in cancer biology, which is quite simply, why does cancer kill you? Perhaps if we could understand why this happens, we could devise a way to prevent cancer from killing its host, a very different way of thinking about treating cancer. Death from metastasis is not unique to humans. Nearly all animals that develop cancer also die from metastasis, suggesting that there is something common between humans and other animals in the way they respond to having widespread cancer. This is true whether we're talking about mice or dogs or cats or horses. The process seems to be the same. My own laboratory has chosen to study this problem of how cancer kills you using a small aquarium fish called the zebrafish. These fish are a powerhouse of genetic research because of their small size and allow us to really understand how changes and mutations in DNA cause metastatic cancer. More recently, my laboratory has engineered an improved version of the zebrafish called Casper. Casper is still a normal fish, except that it's transparent, which allows us to view cancer cells deep within the body that would otherwise be invisible. This, at its core, is what makes studying metastasis so difficult. It's a largely invisible process that only makes itself known late in its course. CASPER allows us to get around this problem. Because the process of cancer and metastasis is highly similar across animals, what we learn in the zebrafish directly applies to what happens in human patients. My lab is teaming up with Consano to try and give the public an opportunity to fund the kind of research they feel most passionately about. Our goals in this project are to use our fish to discover the mechanisms by which metastatic melanoma, in this case, causes death, and then use this information to try something that might seem counterintuitive, teach the body to live with cancer rather than dying from it. On the surface, the concept of living with cancer might seem unattractive, but I think provides a new way of thinking about this disease. Rather than trying to kill every last cancer cell, we will instead try and find a way to make those cancer cells much less dangerous to your overall health. We're excited to work with Consano on this project and think it provides a great way for researchers like me to share our enthusiasm for what we are doing. I look forward to the next few years and hope that we will be successful as we explore this new way of thinking about cancer.